Welcome to Previewed with Adam and Jay. I'm Adam. And I'm Jay. Today we're going to react, review, riff, and at the end we're going to rate the brand new trailer for the upcoming horror drama intensity movie called The Lighthouse. So I'm Robert Pattinson and the other guy who's the Green Goblin. His name is Willem Dafoe. And Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe. Will I am Dafoe. Will I am Dafoe. Film the phone. It's all black and white heads up, so this is not. I didn't mess anything up in editing. It's it's. Uh, Which he often does. Sometimes so you're do. good to be on the lookout to see if Adam's screwing stuff up. I always do. He always right. lets me know. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know anything about it. Here we go. Tell me. What's a timber man want with being a wiki? Just looking to earn a living. Just like any man. Starting new. On the run. Keeping secrets, are you? No, sir. Why just spill your beans? It's a weeks, two days, help me to recollect. What? Yeah. Sometimes you like to go to the theater and like buy a big bucket of popcorn and there's a big soda and just kind of unwind in the summertime. Just catch a fun little popcorn flick with you and your lady or your fella or whoever you like to be, your dog, I don't know. Just, you like to just sit back and just like be entertained. And this movie is like the kind of thing where I imagine showing up being like popcorn and soda being like, CHALLENGED! <laughs> Sit down and all of your preconceived notions are going to get harpooned. It's going to be like that guy. Do you remember the AMC intro stuff before the movie would start? Where like they're kind of showing like all the cool you know, people sitting in the, the seats. And that one guy had popcorn and it was the jump scare. And he threw the yeah. popcorn yeah, out. Yeah, and yeah, it, yeah, that yeah, went yeah. away recently because everyone thought that was stupid. Huh. It's going to be that. It's gonna, you're just going to squeeze your soda real hard. Ah, and then, and then no! gonna, yep, there's going to be soda and popcorn everywhere. Because <laughs> you're too what is this made-for-TV movie from the 50s? I don't know. What is going on? I'm just going to say it. Sure. I think one of them isn't real. Oh! You think? And I can't tell who. That's a... Someone's it's a... Like, oh, Robert right. Pattinson is like, maybe he's hallucinating the old... Man, like, he's hallucinating the ghost of the old lighthouse guy, and it's his only friend. Maybe. Or... or Willem Dafoe's been there way too long, and so in order to, like... Kill the doldrums of being a lighthouse keeper. Then he imagines a young little whippersnapper coming. Mm -hmm. One of them. Are. Well, the Defoe's definitely been there for a while because he got that mad lighthouse guy beard going. Ooh, that yes. Was, them. It's just and then much of the chops. And then just at a hard angle, right at the couple inches out. That's a, that's a old. It's the kind of thing where. Oh, I mean, he was probably shooting this for a couple of months. Like he had to have those big old mutton chops. For quite a long time, like him at Starbucks, being like, "Yeah, I have the, I have the the, the cookie dough frappuccino." It's like, it's like the little thing just where it's like chops guy. He's like, "Guys, I told you my name was William. You know, I'm like I know, I know. Okay, I know. Rude, rude. I'm gonna write a, uh, I'm gonna write a mean spirited Yelp review. Yelp review. Yeah. You saw a Mermaid there, right? Too. There, I thought 
Yeah, that's clearly a hallucination. You think that's a hallucination? Unless mermaids are real, then sure, off to the races, let's party. Well, uh, young Robert Pattinson had a little, I'm sorry, future Batman, had a little uh, mermaid... Um, Hootman? <laughs> idol. And he was, that was when he was secretly sneaking in his pocket. He was, he was rolling a little, maybe, maybe, he, that's, maybe that's his goal. Maybe he's summoning the mermaids mm-hmm. to do a thing on the rocky outcropping, or it could be Cthulhu. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Cthulhu. The dark one? Do you have a name to it? I mean, did you saw tentacles. There were tentacles behind Robert Pattinson. Yeah, sure, point. why not? And there was a bug crawling out of an octopus. So, prob- I'm going to guess Cthulhu. Old-timey old Cthulhu. Old-timey Cthulhu. Just, just a bartender in an old west saloon, just washing glasses with all those different tentacles. He's very, yeah, he's very efficient. Oh, oh hello man. there. It's me, Cthulhu. Gather around the fire. I'll tell you a story. Oh, would leave you, like, you insane. Would you, would you <laughs> like some evil beans? <laughs> Not like regular beans, but evil. Mm-hmm. I would love to know, since it's by the guy who did The Vich, which I believe is the correct way of saying it, Oh, okay. Uh, why, why the aspect ratio? Because uh, it's like an old time movie. Old oh, time movies were in three by four. Oh yeah. So you're talking about the smaller. Yeah. Cut. Yeah. Oh. It's small. Like it was like yeah. That was how film used to be. Oh, that's right. It was. Oh, I forgot about that. I just hope I. D- I can, I can imagine shooting though. on that kind of film stock. It's probably wildly expensive and really a big pain in the ass to do. I just hope it's worth it. I mean, it seemed like they were also acting in the style of back in the day. That Some Buster Keaton type stuff going on there, yeah. which I'm kind of okay with. Or, or cutting, or the editing was very back, of, you know, just kind of a, you know, cutting to this, the shot of them like, uh, and then sitting there for a while, and, yeah. then, and, then, oh, yeah. and then voiceover leads into the next shot. So very, it felt very old school. I wonder how that's going to play with a modern audience. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know about this one, dude. I don't know about this one, but I do know Lighthouse Madness is a thing. <laughs> and we probably would not do well if you and I were trapped in a lighthouse. Trapped? Hired? No, we just be... bring some board games. We'd be fun. Oh. we like a really long like risk. risk campaign. Yep. Really keeps you sane. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? That'd be great. Yeah. I mean, I would win, but like, it would take a while. It would take a long while. Oh, you think while. you would, huh? Uh-huh. Or we could bring... I'm really good at those kind of games, though. I don't are you? I think you underestimate me. I probably do. Very good at games. Uh, Jay, good at games. Good at games. <laughs> good at content. We should be risk. Good at stealing your <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> uh, Settlers of Catan. Uh, the Cones of Dunshire. Just for those, lo- those games that are going to take a while. Yeah. Uh, sure. Don't. Someone let us know what happens to this movie <laughs> if you watch this. I don't think I'm going to see this. <laughs> I don't think we're going to see it. I don't think it is. Black and white and three and three four, uh, three, four, uh, three, four aspect ratio. A little rough. I don't know. Well, Jay, how would you rate the trailer for The Lighthouse? This one is getting five out of six. I wonder what liquor they were drinking. That's the whole time I was thinking. I was like, is it rum? Ooh. Is it whiskey? What is it? I wanted to know. Because that's one aspect of uh, living in a lighthouse, I can imagine. It's like, oh, just like, you just swilling down Everclear every night. Woo! That kind of, that's fun. Is one easier to chug than others? Says the not narc. I would think it would burn. Which one would burn? Excuse me, which one of these is easier to drink from my little mouth? (laughs) <laughs> oh, my little, my little sensitive mouth, Adam Lash. Everyone knows I have a sensitive mouth. <laughs> Give another gift of that, that's yeah, fun. Thanks. How would you guys rate this trailer? Let us know in the comments below or hop in our Discord channel where lots of fun, cool people are talking about lots of fun, cool stuff. We'd love to have you join that conversation. The link is down below in our description box. And while you're down there, please like, subscribe. And hit that bell. Do that YouTube that you do so well. Guacamole is extra. You eight tentacled wacko weirdos, you. Woo! We're all talking about the elder gods. Woo! I, I'm thinking it's probably going to be an elder god. Because why not? It's like in the ni- uh, 19th century. You weird and wacky tentacle face god. All right. <laughs> Other videos are popping up soon. Please watch those. We would appreciate it as much as we appreciate you watching this one. We'll see you guys next time.
Bye. Bye.